And welcome to the Dudes Being Bros podcast. My name is Ian. I'm here with my partner, Vince. Vince, how you doing? What's up, Ian? How's it going, man? Hey, Just dude. chilling. I feel like it's been a while since I've seen you, dude. What the fuck? I've seen you last week, you little stage five clinger. Was it last week? Don't ever fucking call me that again, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I call you that in bed. That's about it. So did you watch the Super Bowl? I did, man. I did. I had a good time watching it. Um, what did you think of the halftime show? Bro, that halftime show was awful. You, you think I, so? I actually liked it. Dude, all right. So I like a few weekend songs, and uh, I guess it was cool because I knew it. But if you didn't know the weekend, that was not your cup of tea. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, I'll give him this. I mean, that's like one of the first performances we've seen since like COVID started. And just what he had to work with when it came to um, just being like socially distanced and stuff like that. I mean, well, I shit, social distance. You didn't see that when they were in the damn uh, House of Mirrors <laughs> running around. I was going to get to that. Well, I mean, just the I mean, there's 25,000 people there. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess they were vaccinated, but I mean, still, that's like a large ass gathering. You know what I mean? And yeah, then like yeah. the the craziness of the after parties and stuff like that. I didn't see any of the after parties. Oh, them. I did, dude. I saw it on the news. They're all partying in the fucking street. Oh, no, no. I did see that. Yeah, yeah. there was a dude. He climbed like uh, Kennedy fucking street and is sitting on top of the uh, the light post. Yeah. <laughs> so I saw a meme. Some like uh, there's two. There's been two people to climb on top of a Kennedy, Marilyn Monroe and this dude. <laughs> or Kennedy's pole. My bad. Dude, yeah, fuck the joke up. Dude. It's not even funny oh, anymore. Fuck. I did. Okay. So what's uh, can't say Super Bowl? All right, you just said it. So if this gets uh, demonetized, I mean, probably will anyways. But um, yeah, the NFL will send you a cease and desist if you say Super Bowl without their permission. Like little people can get caught up for it. Like there's there's a whole division that they will send you a letter saying like, yo, don't say the word Super Bowl. That's trademarked. That's theirs. Uh, that's stupid. That's that's dumb. Uh, yeah. There was a similar situation with that with um, like what's what's that guy? Uh, the the announcer bruce bruce buffer that's his name or is that yeah. his brother yeah uh, let's get time. let's get ready the rumble is is trademarked by him too also it's time the ufc one that's the brother it's time that's uh copywritten that's stupid that's so dumb we're just saying all the copyright written shit anything else you want to throw in there fucking um i'm loving it i'm loving it um uh Burger, Burger King sucks ass. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we don't make it till you order it. There you go. We don't make it. Who was that? That was Jack in the Box, wasn't it? That's, that's Carl's Jr. What was Wiener Schnitzel's? Delicious or something Dur- like that, yeah. right? Yeah. I like the fucking hot dog, dude. <laughs> so you tried that Deftones beer? How is it? Speaking of, bro, I've tried their last one. I tried Phantom, uh, Phantom Bride, but that's their new one from like their new album, right? Yeah, Ohms. How is it, dude? It's so good. Um, I like it because it's like uh, it finishes dry. It's like kind of hazy. It's just like it's fucking perfect. It's a pale ale too. So it's like I think it's only like 5.5%. So it's not going to be like you're getting shitty off of four of them. You know what I mean? Who's the main uh, dude that's working with with that beer company? Is it Chino's idea or is it it's, one of the other it's guys? It's Chino and Abe, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Because Abe, they, they both like IPAs. I watched a documentary when they did their first one. Um, and it was Chino and Abe, and then the head brewer. Imagine a dudes being bros ale. That'd be fucking tight, dude. We could just make that shit. Dude beans bros ale. Yeah, I mean, I've never made beer before. Do you know how to make it? Yeah, I've made a few beers before. I uh, I made a couple IPAs, and then I made a stout, and then the stout blew up in the bottle. No way. I had too, I had too much sugar. Yeah, because basically the yeast eats the sugar and shits out alcohol, but also a byproduct of that is carbonation. So whoa, uh, wait, 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 wait. So yep. fucking beer is yeast poop. Yes. Because you can brew a beer, you have to put sugar in there and you have to put a live culture, which is the yeast, and it goes there and eats all the sugar, shits out alcohol, and farts bubbles. I'm it just fucking CO2. I'm just fucking learning this. I did not know that. Really? Yeah. Yeah, dude. We're drinking uh yeast shit. Let's get into some shit going around the world. But there was an amber alert in Texas. And uh, the Amber Alert was from for Chucky, like Chucky the doll. So Texas Department of Public Safety mistakenly sends Amber Alert for a Chucky doll. And they put a picture of the fucking doll. It was in San Antonio, Texas. Chucky was listed as a 16-pound man with red hair 
in blue eyes who's suspect to be kidnapped. That's got to be like a troll, dude. I, I I don't know if this. So the official said the alert was sent accidentally because of a test malfunction. Bullshit. Someone really believed it. We're like, we got to get this kid. Someone save Chucky. That's fucked up, dude. And I, I remember that doll used to scare the shit out of me when I was little. Fuck yeah, dude. That doll but then I grew up shit. and I realized the movies weren't actually that good. I haven't actually seen like Child's Play or anything like that since. Really? But I, I don't want to. That little fucker scares me. Well, I mean, the first one was good. And then there was like this remake that happened. Um, I think it was last year or the year before. It was, the same, it was 2019 because I remember it was out the same time Avengers Endgame was out. But I don't think it did that well unless they're making a second one. But um, I know they changed like the origin because originally his his origin was like voodoo magic. And then this one is just like a malfunctioning robot. Oh, yeah, that, that's the one with uh, Homegrow from uh, Parks and Rec, right? Aubrey Plaza. Uh huh. The height that was given was three foot one and his weight was 16 pounds. His race was listed as other doll. <laughs> so they put a race out there too. So check this out, dude. I, I saw this. Uh, this is actually a story from 2019, but this person just got their sentence uh, now, and it was a woman coming back into New Zealand mm -hmm. um, had over a thousand cactus and other plants strapped to her, and they caught her at customs. I don't want to be an asshole, Ian. What? It's cacti. Oh, sorry, cacti. <laughs> And they're all. Cactuses? She had a thousand cactuses. <laughs> um, yeah, she had a thousand cactus. Uh, cacti. Stra cacti strapped to her body. So I guess New Zealand has very strict, um, mm -hmm. like agriculture laws. They find her. The plants was worth ten thousand pounds. So what is that like? Whatever New Zealand money is. No, they use something else. NZD. That's right. She was found to have. 142 unauthorized seeds hidden inside commercially packaged iPad covers in her luggage, mm -hmm. as well as 200 plant pots, one of which contained a snail. And I guess the snail is like a really big deal. Yeah, dude. Because, I mean, it's kind of dorky, but like shit like that will like decimate a fucking uh, economy or like an ecosystem over there. That's like Hawaii, too. You can't take shit over there. You have to claim it like a motherfucker. And if you get caught, I'm pretty sure you get in a lot of trouble, too. Really? Yep. So she was sentenced to 100 hours of community service and 12 months of intensive supervision for violating the country's biosecurity laws, government officials say. Damn, son. Damn. That sucks. Do not take anything into New Zealand. You will be forced to do community service. The exact count of the cacti was 947. So, and then you told me to ask or to find out how much the New Zealand dollar to US dollar was? Yeah, it was 10,000 New Zealand dollars to our dollars. It's 7,241 American dollars. American dollars. That's a little, that's an annoying little bill. Fuck yeah. So do you have a special someone for Valentine's Day events? I have you, babe. Fuck yeah. So, oh, shit. I'm gonna get you. Oh, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna get you, you. I'm gonna get you the auto blow. It's a machine that replicates oral sex. <laughs> oh my god. That's that, that's the world we live in now, huh? This is like some like uh European shit, dude. No like, shit. He really? I believe that. <laughs> yeah. This is some crazy shit, dude. Like I I now know that technology is at is like way advanced more than this time when you could give yourself your own blowjob. I thought we were there when we had the flashlight. I was like, this is a no, no. genius. Now we got the auto blow, dude. Auto fucking blow. In other news, this one's actually pretty crazy. So, you know, the whole like conspiracy that COVID came from like a land, uh, a lab in Wuha, China. And then people believe yeah. that it came from like a bat. The United Nations or the US, someone sent in like their disease control people to go investigate what happened. Yeah. And apparently they're saying that it didn't come from the wet markets, which is where like the like the bats and the rabbits and all that stuff is sold. That's what China said. Yeah, it didn't come from the wet markets and it didn't come from a lab because the lab that it was said that it was supposed to have apparently never had any COVID there. I, I heard that the wet market was debunked a while ago. Um and then that left the lab to be like the the main the leader of it all. But yeah, so I don't know who the fuck to believe, bro. At this at this point, um, they don't know where it came from, which is kind of crazy. So Trump's China virus is out the, out the window, I guess. But like, I mean, in what the 1500s was was they knew where the Black Plague came from, and they didn't even have like the science that we have now. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. Now they don't even know that COVID, where COVID came from. So that's the crazy part that I that just hits me. I think that's, dude. I'm a fucking conspiracy theorist. So I think they know they just ain't telling us. Oh, those cock yeah. suckers. <laughs> With all the Spider-Man three stuff going on, they Sony is going to continue like the Spider-Man movies after Marvel's done with its third one, which is coming out in December. Mm. And uh, they want to make a Craven the Hunter movie. Do you know who Craven the Hunter is? No. Um, he's like the big like Russian dude with like the the t- the lion jacket on him. Oh, I think so. Just look up Craven the Hunter. I looked up cosplay. Wood smash. All of these dudes. <laughs> Just kidding. At first they asked uh, Keanu Reeves, um, but I guess he turned down the role. I don't know why. Do you know how there's another Matrix movie coming out this year? Mm-hmm. There's rumors that there's going to be another one, like a fifth one. God damn. I've never um, seen one of those movies. Those movies have a lot of like mixed reviews because um, I didn't appreciate it until it was later in my life. Yeah. That they're based off of anime. That's where like all like the the trench coats and the glasses and all that and the fighting stuff to get back to the um the Craven spinoff movie. A lot of people want um Carl Urban to play um Craven the Hunter. You know who Carl Urban is? The That's the, the dude from uh The Boys. The Boys, yeah. Yeah, I think I he's a, a great pick for that. Yeah, he kind of oh. actually looks more like the cartoon or the comic, sorry. Excuse me, nerds. Uh, <laughs> than um Keanu. I feel like for the last few years, they just want to get Keanu Reeves and like everything because he's just like America's sweetheart at this point. I don't get it, bro. That fool sucks at acting. And you know what? I never uh, thought he was a good actor either. But um, I think the like the worst movie he's like ever ever been in, where it's just like, what the fuck is this? Is have you seen Interview with a Vampire? Yeah, he is terrible in that fucking movie. Keanu Reeves is an Interview with a Vampire. Yeah. Look up his scenes and like look up Keanu Reeves' acting in Interview and a Vampire, and it is like the most jarring shit. Because I guess like he Are was you still, sure? yeah. Oh, it might be Dracula. I was gonna say, bro. I did not think you mean Bram Stoker's Dracula. Okay, I was like, what the fuck? I love Interview with a Vampire. I do not remember him at all. So Bram Stoker's Dracula. Um, Keanu Reeves had a role in that and he was super misplaced in that movie. I guess he was really new to acting at that time. And I am an FBI agent. Yeah, he was still the sur- like the surfer Keanu Reeves. Oh, his accent is dog shit. I think I don't think that highly of Keanu now. I'm thinking a lot lower watching this. <laughs> so today there was a, a Jared Leto Joker reveal for the Snyder Cut. I think it's how you posted on Instagram. Yeah, it was a whole. It's a whole new redesign of his Joker from Suicide Squad, but um, they put it side by side with his Batman picture they put out the other day. And if you haven't seen the movie, there's like a flash, like a flash forward scene where it takes place in the future. So that might it might be the same Joker, but it's taking place in the future. But it just looks like Jared Leto on a normal day. Really? Yeah, the fool's weird. He just does weird shit like that. You know that he was in the. When COVID first started, he was in the desert just by himself for two weeks without any like contact or anything like that. Really? And he came back to society and the whole world like Oh, I do remember that. <laughs> and I the whole world was like that. fucked up and he's like, What happened? I am a golden god and I leave you guys and you fuck it all up. <laughs> I remember that. He was in like Joshua Tree for like two weeks. You know, I, I heard like the same thing about method actors like uh mm-hmm. who's like that? Um Shia LaBeouf is like that. Yeah. Um, Ed, Edward Norton is like that. Daniel Day Lewis was like that. Heath Ledger was like that. And they all just are like, they just do weird shit. Imagine being backstage working on a movie and fucking Heath Ledger pops around as the Joker acting all fucked up and weird. Pass. Because he, <laughs> Heath Ledger is a solid actor. Uh, yeah, dude. His Joker was amazing. But imagine just trying to be like, hey, going to get some water and he's like, imagine the, like, these scars and you're just like, <sighs> Hi, Heath. <laughs> yeah. Dude, or even Daniel Day Lewis when he was losing it in um, There Will Be Blood. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I drink your milkshake, Eli. I didn't hear a lot of gaming news this week. The only thing I really heard that was major was uh, that Prince of Persia game that we talked about last time is getting delayed indefinitely. Good. Because it's not by Ubisoft, right? It's by... Uh... It's by another an, another uh, company, but um, their statement basically said that they want to take their time on it. Mm-hmm. And that it's 
they're not going to put it out until they have a solid project which kind of like i was like read in between the lines with it either someone fucked up and it's not going to be out by the time that it's going to come out and so they're going to push it back which i wish they did with a lot of fucking games when they came out like that cyberpunk game yeah. no man's sky i don't care how many times you gotta delay it just put out something good who's even asking for that game like prince of persia hasn't come out and is there is gonna be another movie there's this big market for retro games so um yeah but like i'm playing pokemon on my damn game boy color i'm not going to play fucking prince of persia running on the walls on a ps5 yeah but look how convenient it is because like do you have a switch no okay on the switch you could um they uploaded their entire super nintendo library for free and you could play it yeah you could play it for free so damn i find to get a switch I, dude it switches are worth it dude like don't even get me wrong um i like uh playstation and all that but um i find myself playing my switch more just because um it's convenient the games are fun it doesn't really take a lot of like you don't really have to dive in deep for it yeah, and you already yeah. know what you're gonna get you're gonna get like a mario game you're gonna get super smash they got um, Earthworm Jim. uh yeah i also play fucking um overwatch on my switch yeah that just came out uh, a couple months ago yeah i play it on there dude it's it's super convenient they have rocket league um pokemon i find myself playing a lot it's totally worth it i, I recommend getting a switch 100 percent. yeah dude um how is playing overwatch on the switch um i feel like it'd be kind of hard it's cool when you have like the handheld but uh-huh. um playing on the tv it just i can't do it it's it's um because if you're playing overwatch on a ps4 you're gonna like the 60 frames per second, whatever, it, it's going to run smooth. It doesn't run that smooth on Switch when it's on a TV. Like, you could see, uh, like, the like the the quality just go down when it's on the Switch. But, I mean, if you don't really mind, I mean, all yeah. to you. Switch controllers are kind of weird, though. I mean, Nintendo's always had weird fucking controllers. They've never had a solid one. Never had a solid controller. They do. Maybe, s- maybe the 64? The they 64 do. Was tied. They do sell some um, controllers that resemble Xbox controllers. Mm-hmm. but they're they plug in but yeah, that's like those. yeah that's the downside of them i had a i was using that for a while uh playing like skate and skate 3 on my uh my t- uh computer um but then i found an xbox uh one controller for like 20 bucks so i ran with that instead because you can do that wirelessly tom holland has denied in- the rumors that uh toby mcguire and andrew garfield are going to be in the new spider-man movie good i only want to see that little cutie running around I, I think it's I, I think they're still gonna do it, but he has a a reputation for spoiling stuff. I guess he spoiled oh, like yeah, I saw that because he can't keep his fucking mouth shut. Yeah, he's just so excited about shit. But which makes uh, him even more lovable. I think he's denying the rumors just for now, and I think that's it's still gonna pop up in the movie. But I'm, I'm really interested to see that dude. Because did you ever watch the animated um, Enter the Spider Verse, the one with Miles yeah. Morales? That's yeah. Yes, I did. That that's was a, really good. Yeah, that's a great fucking movie, dude. So good. I, I had low expectations for it, and I think I watched it on a flight coming home. And uh, I was like, this is awesome. This isn't like just a movie you watch on a plane. This is some shit you go watch in the theater. You watch yeah, it Yeah, dude. I saw it in theaters. It was fucking great. All right, so let's move on to uh, creepy shit. And I got some of them. Some cr- crazy stuff that I've been looking into. Creepspiracies. Uh-huh. So there is a there is an island. Look it up too. There's an island in off the coast of England called uh, Dead Man's Island. Dead Man's Island over 200 years ago was used as a burial site for prisoners, and these prisoners had like diseases, and they would just throw them off the boat, and they would all like live on this fucking island, and they would die. And if you go there now, I believe it's off near Kent in the UK. Okay. Um, if you go there now, the beach is just riddled with bones of people who have died oh, and washed up on shore. That's gnarly. I'm looking at pictures right now. There's like a freaking Jaws. Not like the shark, but <laughs> like, shark man- just- like mandibles. It's actually not that far off of like the fucking the big island. Like it's still part of like the uh, England. Like yeah. Westminster's right there. Queensboro. You know what I mean? Like you have to fucking <laughs> die when the Lord takes you. Not when the fucking damn. There's got to be a movie for this. 
if not i'm gonna start a gofundme and just make the movie yourself Make it myself. It, it, it'll be better, better than fucking uh, Tyran, Tyran or Preacher, whatever that fucking shit you made me watch. The Velocipaster and Velocipaster, that hot garbage. <laughs> dude, you don't, you just don't know art, dude. That's what it is. I don't know. I guess I don't understand art. Uh, what's it called? Is you know uh, how you're saying uh, Dead Man's Island? Yeah, it's not an island. It's, what is it? It's pretty close to London, to be fair. It's yeah, it's an island. It's like it's this, it's this little like it's in a spillway. And then there's like this little like piece of fucking land that is just broken off, but it's ridiculously close. Really? Yeah, it's not like in the middle of the ocean. Like you could def if you were on that island, you could probably if you weren't like ill, you could probably make a swim for it, or Fuck. hear fucking people like across the way. Fuck you, that. Yeah, like I would say. Let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. I'm so down. You just got to get a flight to London, and then, yeah, and then quarantine for two weeks, and then go. <laughs> Dude, I'm fucking vaccinated. I ain't quarantined on shit, homeboy. Yeah, my buddy, uh, my buddy's vaccinated too, and his girlfriend lives out in uh, England. I guess that's just the law right now. You just got to quarantine. Yeah, you have to quarantine for two weeks, dude. It's only 52 miles away from London, like downtown London. Yeah, it's in uh, Kent, right? It's in Queensboro. Yeah, Kent. Yeah, Kent. Yeah. Which is, imagine being fucking dumped out there, knowing 50 miles you could be in London. So this one's pretty crazy, dude. Russia. Um, had this mining project where they dug this big ass fucking hole, right? Ended up being the deepest place on earth. It is 12,262 meters deep, which equals out to 40,230 feet, which is about seven miles, right? People reported that they heard dreams and agony. So they call it the Russian gateway to hell. It's like the closest you get to the core in the entire earth. Look up pictures on it, dude. It's fucking huge. Dude, what the fuck? Yeah, they started this project in 1965, and then they closed it in 1989. Dude, that's creepy looking. Yeah, and the exact name for it is called the Kola Super Deep Borehole. Like Coca-Cola? Yeah, it's on the border between Russia and Norway. What's even crazier, dude, is look up like the recordings of what people heard. No, thank you. I want to sleep tonight. Oh, they sealed it. Yeah, that's what I was going to say next. Yeah, they sealed it. This is apparently what they heard in the that hole. <laughs> I guess take it as you may. I mean, if you believe it or not, but uh, I heard about this a long time ago and it popped up again. Do you know what the hollow earth theory is? Uh, negative. What's that? Do you know how they say like earth's core is just like all like lava. It's all mantle, just like molten rock and magma. Yeah. Magma. Like molten hot, hot magma. magma. <laughs> so there's a theory that within earth, there's just a, there's a vast network of tunnels. And what supports this theory too, is that, um there's certain cultures from around the world that had the same like architecture but they didn't know anything about each other and they're on opposite points of the world after world war one or world war two one of one of those wars there was this guy named admiral bird right mm -hmm. and he flew a a mission over antarctica because a lot, if you really think about it how much do you know of antarctica other than that it's cold as hell that's where the penguins live right yeah, he was the first person to fly over Antarctica, and they said that in the middle of Antarctica, there was this massive hole that led to um, this civilization of people that live inside the Earth. Okay, so what I'm seeing is that it's the reptilians. Back to this fucking guys, they're the ones. I heard uh, that it was this this um, race of aliens called the the Nordic Greys. That's what they're called. They're supposed to be look like people, but like mm -hmm. perfect perfect like they don't have any you know how like we have dimples and that's like technically like a birth defect or like and, and we everyone has like a like two faces if you look at it if you look at yourself in the mirror you have two faces I have two faces yeah if you look at it one side is like i usually say that like one side is your mom and the other side is your dad oh i do take whenever i take selfies i feel like one side's a little bit more rounded than the other side is it's a little about? you know well, i don't know it's a little easier with me because one eye is like halfway open and the other eye is open <laughs> Your Forrest Whitaker eye? Yeah, dude. Okay, so uh, what's up with some music news, dude? Music news. Um, yeah, so I was on the interwebs, and are you are you familiar with Title Fight, the band? Of course, dude. That's right. like every. Uh, that's like the breakup band, dude. That's True, um, but like the first two albums uh, were like super like punk, 
pop punk, you know, just like really fast paced. Mm -hmm. And then they came out with Hyperview and everyone was like, they loved it or they hated it. And that's when they became like that emo boy. Like, I guess it's like more shoegaze type of, just like very jammy type of shit. Mm -hmm. That that album turned six this week or I guess last week. I think Tidal Fight is one of the the more uh, highly requested bands for a reunion. Oh, without a doubt, especially because the way that they left off, they didn't really say much. They were just like, "Cool, we're done." Because like the the Ned, he has like glitter as his side band with his brother, I believe. But Never listen to him. Yeah, it's like Tidal Fight. If you like Tidal Fight, you like them. It's really good. But dude, that should turn six. Where the fuck is time going? Uh what was it i don't know if we talked about this but i did remember his album turn 10 the other day um downfall of us all. oh homesick. Downfall. yeah homesick yeah turn 10. fuck do you remember when that album came out how fucking tits it was i love that i love that album i still love that i could still rock that album all day yeah i would probably say that title fight was a pretty big strong proponent in bringing back this whole pop punk era era because remember how big pop punk was for like three years like every fucking band was a pop punk band. Yeah, the story so far was um, like the shit and neck deep and Man Overboard was pretty big too. Man Overboard, yeah, Man Overboard was a big one. And they were just like one album and out for the most part. Neck deep, they made it. Uh, they all turned so in, far. They all turned into that shoegaze stuff. That was like yeah. the like Citizen and um, yeah, Citizen. Uh, was it Movements? Yeah, Movements. Yeah. Um, do you know who uh, Loathe is? I think so. It sounds familiar. Um, they basically are like shoegaze metal. Um, hmm. Here, watch. Look up this song. It's called uh, Two Way Mirror. Look up a song called Two Way Mirror. It's basically, I like to, you'll like it because I, I always say that they're um, a metal core deftones. Like a hardcore Deftones. Hardcore Deftones? Yeah, it's called Two Way Mirror by a band called Loathe. I'm watching it right now. I can totally hear the Deftones and they like the shoegaze Deftones. Especially with the singer. Has he started singing yet? Uh, No, but that drummer's beating the shit out of that fucking ride. <laughs> They're from... um. Uh, England. I don't know what part of England they're from, but yeah, they're they're from out there, chap. Um, there's, it's like it's really weird because they have like mellow shit like that. Yeah. And then um, hold on. Listen to a song after this one called. Um, I'm just skipping through this one just for time. Listen to another song called "New Faces in the Dark." And it's that last song, that dude was beating the shit out of his ride. I just want uh, to put that out there. Dude, listen to this one. This, this one's fucking crazy because there's something about the tone of those guitars mixed with metal, and it's fucking dope, dude. I totally hear the Deftones. Right? Bruh, Deftones. But a metal Deftones. Yeah. Yeah. I totally hear it. I love it. I fucking love the Deftones, so you know I'm going to love this. Okay. Now that we're on the subject of music, let's get to the breakdown of the week. The breakdown of the week. All right. So this is Landmark's Lost in a Wave in three, two, one, go. Is he playing on a Fender? What is that? What's my strategy? I don't know, but you're not ready for this. <laughs> it gets better. It gets better. Some of their fashion choices were not on par for me, but uh, that shit was heavy as fuck. They're French, bro. Give, it a, give them a break. They, <laughs> they, they know fashion. I don't. Yeah. They don't know what fashion is. All right. Mine is Era. Okay. Speaking of Era, their new record that's coming out has got me excited. AF. I know. Everything. Uh, that's what? Five songs now? Every single one has been a bop. 
on fucking point. Not there's no misses so far. What's funny is that they recorded this album like right, like right. They think they finished it the day that the pandemic kind of like hit. So they've been sitting on it for almost a year. I think it's a smart move because if the shit starts opening up again, you want it. You want to tour this album. Well, yeah, but uh, tours aren't aren't planning till next year. It looks like it. A lot of stuff got pushed back. Like even we're talking about the weekend. His his world tour isn't starting till January twenty twenty two. Really, I, I yeah. still see some stuff out there for the end of this year, which I'm yeah. hoping is true. I think like, if nothing changes by June, they'll start pushing all that back. Yeah, yeah, I'm 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 really hoping for like this like October fucking festivals type of shit. Fuck Actually, yeah, because we used to go to con- I I just remember us going to October concerts for some reason, and mm-hmm. everybody played in October. I remember us seeing Counterparts, Silent Planet, fucking Stick to Your Guns, Architects, all of them played in October. That was like the I'll- time for. I wonder why. Like, why is that that they come? Maybe they come back home, like the, at the end of their runs, or they all have like a schedule. Because I remember, um, I, I noticed it when I started seeing Prada. Because I think I've seen the Devil Wars Prada like from what, like, well over twenty times, and not like intentionally, but Jesus Christ, yeah, they they'll do like a a spring tour, and then they'll do like a like a fall tour, and they'll come twice. But yeah, they'll come I, twice. I saw them like. On this random tour one time, it was for today opening up. It was for today opening up, and then it was Inner Shikari. Okay. And then it was White Chapel, and then the Devil Wars Prada. I think I went with you to that show. Was that in LA? Yeah, I was at the Nokia Theater. Yeah, I think yeah, you were I was there. Yeah, it was me, you, and CJ. I think. Was it? CJ or Nat? CJ or Nat? I no, I think you guys went, but I I went with uh, my girlfriend at the time. Ooh, you better not let your girlfriend at this time <laughs> find out about that. Yeah, I went with my girlfriend. That was like, what, 2012, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that was a fucking random ass tour. Um, the last time I saw Prada, they were terrible. Really? I saw them um, with August Burns Red, Parkway Drive, and Polaris, and they were definitely like the weakest one. That's That sucks, man. My favorite Prada is Zombies. That's everybody's favorite product. That's like that was like their. That's where they peaked. In my yeah. in my opinion, that's where they peaked. Yeah, yeah. And they came out with that like during the height of like uh, the, the Walking, Walking Dead. Dead. Yeah, the Walking yeah. Dead was a, was a good show. Now it's um, now it's in its final season. And yeah, uh, they extended season ten to like two seasons worth of uh, shows because they just wanted to wrap it up. God damn. Yeah. Wait, let's, met, let's listen to your uh, oh, yeah, you're right you're right you're right mine is uh era snowblood uh we can kick it off at three minutes and 30 seconds let me know when you're there three two one go mm, mm. that drum fill dude i love that drum oh, fill. so nice the breakdown that i really like in this is actually the next one that comes up. Yep. I like how this just like this end of the song just rocks your balls. Like what the fuck is that? That's so awesome. Dude, uh yeah, fuck it. You can stop it. This shit is so good though. I think their album comes out this month, if I'm not mistaken. Metal Metalcore is changing. It's either getting like really, really heavy or it's getting really, really soft. And I'm on the heavy. All team first team all heavy yeah team heavy if I if I if I'm gonna hear something soft I'm gonna deliberately go out and listen to something soft you know what I mean like I uh, I don't I don't want my metal core getting soft yeah I think like Caesar mentioned last time with uh, Wage War when they did that fucking they they put out the those few songs from their last album and they were like really heavy everybody fucked with them and then they dropped their album and it was a pop album i've never made music in that capacity like there's probably only so much fucking heavy shit you want to write you want to change it up a little bit you know what i mean yeah i've I never put out one album let alone fucking three or four five <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching today's episode make sure to like and subscribe and i believe this is going to be the episode that's on spotify so once it's on spotify uh check us out give us a follow uh vince you want to add anything i just want to say shout out to joe rogan for helping us get on to spotify uh, that's the homie <laughs> without him we'd be lost no good man thank you again without him we wouldn't have tried uh what was that dmt yeah i've done i've done dmt and looked at magic frog a few times <laughs> that's the next episode let's go oh yeah all right guys until next time
See ya. Sick. <laughs>